Now I'm going to show you how to make the retaining wall between these columns to hold all this dirt back. So we're going to want to hide our upper roof so we can actually see that what that looks like. So if I click that, click on the sunglasses, hide elements, and it's gone. Now I'm going to look at it from this angle. And I can see that I have um, I have dirt that would be spilling over on the edge here if you look through there. Um, so yours might actually be a little bit further down, but I chose to use 8-inch precast concrete floors. Mine are pretty thick, so I don't have that big of a step between these two. Um, so what I need to do, though, is build a retaining wall to connect from here to here, from both column to column. So I'm going to go to second floor, and your wall needs to be um, pretty thick, pretty structurally sound. Let me zoom out, go over to, the, to those columns. So my carpet's in place. So this is kind of where I'm looking to build. I have my wall. I'm not going to be able to use a generic 4-inch brick. But what I could use is the same thing the exterior of the building is, which I believe is one of these three. I'm going to choose this middle one here. And my base constraint should be second floor. Always check your offsets. This one should just be zero. Um, and legitimately, um, well, well, we'll call it zero. And I'm going to make this an unconnected wall, so I don't want it to go up to upper roof framing. I want it to be unconnected. And I'm going to say that I want mine to be three feet. Uh, I want to have plenty of room where when I'm standing inside the library, I can look and I'm looking out of a glass window. If I make that six feet, then the glass curtain wall that I'm going to put inside here would let light in, but I probably wouldn't be able to see all the neat stuff outside there. So I'm going to three. You can make it three or four or whatever you want. Um, just make sure it's tall enough to um, hold back the dirt. So we have that there. I'm going to make this set to wall center line. So that way it stays centered on this column. If you do finish face interior, your wall is going to be shoved in the inside of the library or way out into the green roof. So I'll click from the bottom and go up. And that makes sure that the outside edge of this wall is on the green roof. If you go from the top down, it ain't going to work. So we're going to go up to here choose that and it says can't do something because of some funky issue that's fine whatever it worked um, if you have chain selected you're gonna get an error message so deselect chain um, it'll just make the computer happier uh, we need to do another wall so let me do another wall here and click and drag that one up and so I get another, another error but that's fine I'm not I'm not screwing anything up. So I'm, I'm just going to show you what that looks like from the outside. You can see from the inside, I have um, covered my my wall type here. It's got this funky cap on it, so and that's fine, though. Um, let's see if I actually made it tall enough. It is tall enough to, to hold back that water. I can see a little bit of my brick, so that's kind of neat. You know, I might, uh, I might end up going back and modifying this, maybe make it 3 foot 6 inches. I think that might look a little bit better. See if I can see. Yep, I can see a little more brick. I kind of like that look a little better. So I'll raise this one up also. Change that to three foot six inches. And then you're going to end up having three walls, retaining walls along this edge. 